So that's what we're gonna make today in the Instant Pot. Woohoo! The inspiration for my recipe came from this recipe. So if you'd like to see where my inspiration came from, it's from isaveatoz.com. But I doctored it up and made it my own recipe. Super fast, super easy. Okay, what you're gonna need is four large frozen or thawed chicken breasts, one cup chicken broth, one can of cream of mushroom and cream of celery soup. You can use cream of chicken if you'd like. One bag of frozen green beans, 12 ounces. I have this big guy here that I get from Costco. And I have two boxes of stuffing. Or you can use the 14 ounce bag of stuffing as well. I'm gonna add my chicken breasts in. And my chicken breasts are huge. And that's okay, because we're a family of six. And this is one of our favorite meals. And this recipe can feed about between six to eight. So I want to season my chicken. So I'm gonna use some salt, pepper, and I'm even gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Now I'm gonna add a cup of the chicken broth or stock. If you're using frozen chicken breasts, you're going to cook this uh, for about 15 minutes on high pressure. And if you have fresh chicken breasts like I do, you're gonna do it for eight minutes. Lid on. And then once it gets to pressure, it'll cook the chicken for eight minutes. And don't forget to make sure that your seal is moved to seal here. And when you go to release the pressure, you wanna move it to vent. Okay, we're gonna quick release this. Okay, when it's done, just make sure your chicken is fully cooked. Now there's a lot of liquid in here. Perfect, we're gonna use that to help cook our stuffing. And what we're gonna do is just put our stuffing right on top. Cream together both the soups. If you want to make this creamier, you could add sour cream to the um, soup mixtures as well. I've done it both times, it's great. Now we're gonna add our green beans. If you don't want them as crunchy, you could add them on top of the chicken and let them pressure cook for like two minutes. I microwaved the frozen green beans just for a couple of minutes. And now I'm gonna add them in. So now get the lid back on your Instant Pot. Now I'm going to do this manual for four minutes. I would definitely shred the chicken and then add the stuffing and everything else on top because as you see as I'm scooping out the casserole, you see some of the stuffing cooked and some of it still, none of the moisture hit it. And maybe add a little bit more chicken broth on top of the stuffing before you add the soup mixture to it. So I did end up pouring a little bit more broth in and cooked it for another two minutes and it came out perfect. All right, here it is. It is delicious. And there you have it guys, instant pot chicken and stuffing. So good. So check out these two videos I have over here, especially the instant pot playlist.